I think tomotherapy has completely changed our entire scope of practice. Uh, limitations that we used to feel in a radiation oncology department have all but disappeared. Uh, cases that at one time we would have considered untreatable, patients with certain malignancies that required palliative radiation, but due to surrounding structures you couldn't treat, we're, we're now able to treat with tomotherapy. We've become almost uh, dependent upon the, the image guidance that the tomotherapy provides because, uh, you know, once you become used to seeing a target every day before treatment, there's really no way to go back. You, you, you realize that your fields were wholly inadequate before tomotherapy. Um, our margins are, have become tighter, our accuracy has become greater, our side effects have decreased, and we think that that's resulted in better outcomes. There's no question, with any new technology, there's going to be a period uh, uh, where you have to learn the technology, where you have to become better at what you're doing. But I think if you were to ask the therapist, the dosimetrist, the physicist in our department, and certainly the physicians, um, I believe that after you get over the initial learning curve, tomotherapy is actually easier to use than most of the systems. One area where we've really noticed a difference is uh, a patient comes to you and you're in a position where you know in order to encompass their tumor appropriately, you may have to cheat. You may have to miss tumor in order to protect surrounding structures. Those days are gone for us. The first thought now is, let's move that patient to tomotherapy because um, you just don't have to sacrifice that anymore. And our staff recognize it. I think the, 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 the people who are operating the machine daily almost want us to put our patients on tomotherapy. They're, they've been spoiled by it, as have we. A case that comes up is, is a recent uh, referral for somebody who had a bilateral lung cancer in the posterior aspects of both, both lobes. And there have been data, published reports, that show that these patients, if you know, they have two separate cancers, can be treated with curative intent. But one thing we noticed in the past was those patients would not be referred to a radiation department because uh, you would hear things like, well, to treat with radiation would destroy both of your lungs and all of your heart and therefore um, these patients would be put on hospice or given just systemic therapy. And with tomotherapy, after educating our referring doctors, we now recognize that you could treat, for example, the posterior aspects of both lungs and the mediastinum and protect the anterior mediastinum in both anterior lungs. And, and I think our, our physicians, our referring physicians, have come to recognize that, and, and those referrals are now being made. The patients love it. I mean, the, the, the reduction in side effects is tremendous. Um, we, we routinely tell patients that, that things like, you know, skin reaction, which is so d diminished with tomotherapy, if you're treating, for example, a deep-lying tumor, or um, reduction in bowel and bladder toxicity when you're treating a prostate cancer, it's such a, 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 an expected reduction that we're, we're, we're discussing with patients at the time of consult, and, and they're reporting it to us at the end of treatment. I mean. Uh, we frequently have patients telling their friends who have had therapy on different units, um, it's too bad you didn't have tomotherapy. And that's leading to a, a groundswell of patients wanting this type of treatment. And I, I know that's happening all over the country. It's not just happening in our center where we were, you know, where we were early, you know, in using tomotherapy. One of the things that, that's important to note is when I talk about how tomotherapy has changed our practice, is that um, it's also opened up um, opportunities for things like retreatment that we would never have considered before. Um, patients who are referred to us who may have already had full dose radiation at another center or at our own facility, um, whereas in the past this would have been a very complicated discussion, with tomotherapy you recognize that you'll be able to retreat safely with less side effects and oftentimes with salvage potential that we just didn't realize before. We've done radio surgery both in, in intracranial and extracranial um, or body radio surgery and a lot of all of it. Uh, you know, we, I think we've treated almost 70 patients with lung radio surgery using a hypofractionated regimen um, and, and I'll talk about that in a bit but we've also um, 
used radiation and uh, tomotherapy as a radio surgery device. In, with fractionated radio surgery regimens, um, we've treated everything from one, two, or three lesions in the brain, benign tumors, malignant tumors. Um, but uh, you know, while you while you're using a CT-based imaging and a, and a non-invasive head frame may require a slightly larger margin than, say, a cobalt-based system. Um, we've had excellent results using tomotherapy as a radiosurgical system in the brain. In particular, it's almost like the system was designed for hypofractionated body radiosurgery. We've treated everything from the pancreas to the kidney, the adrenal gland, um, the spine, and, and in particular the lung. And, and, and our early results with lung radiosurgery um, the amount of toxicity has been very, very minor, and we're keeping adequate records on that. And yet we're seeing a very high percentage of patients achieve an excellent response to radiation. Following these patients with routine PET scans, we're seeing somewhere in the neighborhood of about 92% of patients who are achieving either a complete or partial response to radiation therapy. And we're delivering this treatment over a five-day period with very few side effects. It's extremely rewarding for patients and, 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 and again rewarding for our referring doctors and, 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 and um, again has changed the standard of care. I think from a clinical perspective another uh, advantage of tomotherapy over many of the systems that exist is its incredible uh, utility. You can treat tumors that are very small that um, require the sort of accuracy of, of a radiosurgical approach, in which case we may use a very small, maybe the one centimeter uh, uh, jaw setting. Um, or you can treat very large fields like whole abdominal radiation therapy that we've done on a few patients, or craniospinal radiation, which you can do in the supine position without junctioning or matching of fields. Um, we've believed, as an early adopter of tomotherapy, and we've been treating since November of 2003, um, we believed in expanding the utility of this machine. And what we're seeing is more and more and more people realizing that if you can think it, tomotherapy can accomplish it. And, and that's, what, that's the way we, we use our tomotherapy unit, and, 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 and it has changed our practice. We're treating today about 25 patients a day, and, and I believe you can easily accomplish that in a regular work day. And that's including a significant number of more complex treatments, such as uh, radiosurgery or um, you know, more, more difficult type IMRT cases, lengthy cases that make, may take a little longer on the machine. But, but I do think that, um, you know, I believe that you have to use the CT on a patient every day. And, and the simple reason is that you, you become very dependent on the improvement in accuracy and outcome. But I do think you can scan somebody once or even twice a day and still do between 20 and 25 patients a day very comfortably. Um, that's a very good throughput for a machine that offers so much. Um, the mega voltage image quality is good. Um, it's certainly comparable to any cone beam quality CT um, and in some ways has advantages because of the field of view. Um, the ability to control the, 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 the quality of those images, the speed of those images. We've had patients referred for tomotherapy that have come to Louisiana from California, from New York, from Texas, now, patients that have lived in RVs uh, at our facility while, while getting treatment. And um, I think that uh, there's clearly been an increase in demand for referral. Competing facilities routinely refer patients to our center for a type of special radiation that you just can't get in other places. Um, at the same time, um, you know, I think that tomotherapy has certainly paid for itself. Um, but more importantly than reimbursement, it's paid for itself in improvements in outcome, reductions in side effects, better patient outcomes. That's what tomotherapy is about, and that's what the company focuses on.